<laughs> Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner. The biggest gob in sport. We say the things on here. Nobody else dare say. They're all cowards. Shh. Off with their heads. Cowards, the lot of them. <laughs> hey? We're left with a load of men that are insecure and arse lickers as the media. And I'm just going to keep roasting these mouthfuls. So, right. This is where we're at at the moment. Let me just turn this light up. To get electrician round, get all lights sorted. Right. Big Meech. Since Big Meech got turned over by Usak, he hasn't shown me Jack. He hasn't shown me a note. Franklin, Elenius, Wallin, and a guy in his second fight as a pro. Hey, eh? huh. What's all that? What is all that? What does that mean? What, what does that mean? Would Usyk be able to do all that for? Usyk would deal with them for very quickly. A lot quicker than he did. Big meat. You couldn't even get Franklin out of there. I don't want to hear all this. It's with Ben Davidson now. Boxer size Ben. You mean shit to me, you are. You mean Jack. I'm not saying they're not good trainers in Barry Smith and Lee Wiley. Yeah, they know the game, don't they, Bert? Listen, you can only go so far with what you've got, right? If I go out there and I get a really fast car and I say, right, I'm going to put it in Lombard Rally and it's a fast car, it doesn't mean to say it's going to win, does it? Hey, no, boxing's a sport like no other. It's a sport like no other. Anthony Joshua, a.k.a. Big Meech, he hasn't shown me nothing. What's going on here is a con job. It's an absolute con job. They've patched him up, haven't they? With a load of PR. You know, like, how many trainers has he had there? Loads of trainers. Every time he gets a new trainer, he's stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet, isn't he? Oh, he's, he's really gelled. We heard all this with that Angel Hernandez and Joby Clayton after McCracken, didn't we? And Robert Garcia. We heard all that. Then they were going around these, these other trainers. My God. They were even picking Clifton Mitchell's. You know, brains about it all. He's an overthinker. He took too much on board. He's gone downhill, in my opinion. But people keep saying he's back to his best. What was his best? What? Who's he ever iced who were elite? Vladimir, 42-year-old, 18-month laid on couch after Fury took him to university. In his 69th fight, old man, Life and death, he got dropped in it. So, who's he, who's he batted? Who's he lead? Did he get rid of Ruiz? He struggled with Povetkin, didn't he, at first? And Pulev. Old men! Old men. Usyk took him to school. Yeah, Usyk didn't knock him out. Should have been stopped in 12th round or in one in first fight, shouldn't he? But Usyk didn't knock him out, but took him to school. They didn't need to, did he? Come on, we're, we're, we all know what's going on here, don't we, right? They've patched him up. They just want to get him over the line, don't they, to get the money. They're not going to put him in a fight that's a risk, are they? Why didn't he come back wanting to fight them young lions, Frank Sanchez and Frank, Frank Sanchez, sorry, and uh, Jared Anderson? Why didn't he go near them guys? They had to leave that to Macaulay, didn't they? And uh, the other guy, uh, Caballel. I don't. I didn't see Joshua calling out them lions, did you? A lion knows when another lion is uh, going to be an hard fight for him, doesn't he? I mean, he keeps going on about, I'm a lion, I'm a lion, and all this. Well, fight lions. Don't fight lambs. Don't fight somebody who's in his second fight as a pro. Gimmick fights. We leave that to Chris Eubank Jr., don't we, and Jake Paul. What, what, what is this nonsense? They patched him up. To get him over the line. They've had four paydays. Not massive paydays where he's used to them, but they've had four paydays. And now they're going for a bigger payday against Dubois. And then hopefully, you know, Fury and Usyk and all that. It's, we, we've seen all that Usyk stuff, haven't we? We don't need to see that again, do we? We don't do it. 
Do we need to see Fury fighting Joshua? It's a bust and flush, isn't it? They've both been knocked about, aren't they? They're like fighting to see who's second and third best, aren't they? The main man is Oleg Zander Usyk, the undisputed guy, although they've already took one of his belts off him, aren't they? The IBF are always first to react, aren't they, or WBC? But, come on. We know what's going on, don't we? They've patched him up. And they're spinning a yarn. What they do, they get all these people like IFL, the guard, Puppy Parsons, and all the rest of them to spin yarns. Ask the right questions. These people know what to ask to stay in the mix. To sell it to your people, then they go to talk sport. They get whoop, 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 whoop. Juggies, who openly admits that he's uh, been accused of being Joshua's PR guy. And Derek Chisora. Oh, by the way, we're all from the same gym, Pinchley. <laughs> hey, you couldn't make it up, could you? You couldn't make it up. In my opinion, right? Joshua's a prick. Conant fans. Conners. That's what's going on. Conners. Eddie Hills is not bothered. He's not bothered at all, is he? Who's going to challenge him? If you want to put it on him, he's surrounded by security. Trust me. Well, they've got a bit of power, haven't they? Because they can put your fighters in the mix. So nobody's going to say anything, are they? Nobody's going to challenge the status quo, are they? Not even Leonard Ellaby, and he was talking about doing it on the hard road. Leonard Ellaby, the black Santa Claus of America. Have you seen him with big white beard? Man's a joke. Did you see him hanging out back of Eddie? Eddie, do you want to reach around? What is all that about? They want that Saudi Bunsen burner, as the Cobra says. We know what's going on. We know. I know. I see it from my eyeballs. All these men that are going to do this and going to do that. Dennis, we're going to do something. Aren't you, Dennis? Big Ron. Big Ron, we're going to do something. But he didn't, did he? Because he thought about that. I know what Big Ron we're going to do. And before you know where you are, he's got Anna Rankin in a fight with Terry Harper to defend her world title. But no rematch. Dennis, what did yours used to teach me about your fighters? Or our fighters when I worked for you? Whatever we do, if we've got a belt, we want a rematch clause if we're working with big boys. So you're working with Eddie Hills, a big boy, in a world title fight, your female fighter had a world title. And you didn't get her a rematch clause, did you? Why is that? Because you knew she was garbage. You thought, well, I'll just get this money. I'll just get what I can out of that job here. If there's no rematch clause, there's no rematch clause. Cashed her in. So... They go back on the word promoters, don't they? They go back on the word. You know what I mean? I'm not saying Dennis wants a good mentor for me. Taught me a lot. Taught me a lot about life. But Dennis, you were just a priest to me. Got to have a rematch course or so. And I'd go, why? That was a bit naive. I said, why don't you keep money? You get another bite of cherry. If you get flogged, you get a rematch. You get another payday. So Anna Rankin got flogged. They didn't get another payday, did they? She's in wilderness now, isn't she? And don't wait with Big Ron now. In fact, I think she lifted his leg, didn't she, a few quid? Look, it is what it is. It's boxing, isn't it? It's the wild, wild west. But don't tell me that Big Meech is stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. It's like Umpty Dumpty. He's been put back together again, but only with Bostick. Not Tiger Bond. He's held together by Bostick and a bit of paper mache. That's the bottom line. But nobody's going to say a word. Nobody's going to uh, burst the bubble, are they? They just want to get him over the line. They want to get him over the line with this Dubois fight. Hope that they can get a win. Then get the Fury fight. But if he loses against Dubois, he goes on how he loses. He'll probably try and get a Dubois rematch. They'll tell you one thing and do another. They'll not, listen, promoters, right? They don't even tell their own staff what's going on because they can't trust anybody. No. Nope. And now that you've got them in bed together now, doing the best to get as much lolly out of this triple T, tea towel head, 
They're just going to do what they want. They're giving everybody a reach around. This is in front of our eyes. These families can't stand each other. I can't believe it. And look at them. Do you know what people like Johnny Nelson? They're all laughing at them, aren't they? Johnny Nelson and them up at Ingleship will be howling because they'll know a little bit more than me what's gone on over the years. And Peter Fury and them, they'll all be howling. Mick Hennessy. Everybody in boxes is laughing at these. Do you know why? Because they are brasses. It's a bit in banana all the place here. <laughs> They're brasses. Absolute brasses. Sends me crazy. Sends me absolute crazy. So, right. It is what it is. One piece out. Thanks for liking and subscribing, leaving a comment. Don't forget our sister channel. Focus International. Forgot what it was called then. Because I've had a late one. Well, pop, pop, bang. Oh, by the way, Max, give me a ring when you're 18 stone. Don't be bothering when we text messages, Max, till you get down to 18 stone. So we'll get five Clementines off. And Big John Fury. Big John Fury. When I see you, Big John Fury, I'm going to come and grab you. I'm going to give you a big kiss. Hey. <laughs>